Who are the teams that are ahead of the Buffalo Bills right now? And for this exercise, we're talking about the AFC only, right? You can't get to the Super Bowl unless you beat out the AFC. Now, your wins against the NFC are important, of course, but the road to the Super Bowl for the Bills has to go through the AFC Championship. And who are the teams that are better than the Buffalo Bills? And you might be asking yourself, why are we talking about this? There was a social media post out there, and I can't recall, and I've been trying so hard to find this. So if if you know who I'm talking about, he said like there are five teams ahead of the Buffalo Bills. And I'm here to tell you that nobody is ahead of the Buffalo Bills right now. I'm not trying to be cocky, but like realistically, is there a team that significantly better I, I'm I'm really like asking that as a question. There's so much that goes into winning a football game other than who you have on your team. The game plan, the weather, home team, literally the wind, the sun. <laughs> we saw that in week three last year. Like there's just so much that goes into how a team can have success against another team and the fact that you can just look at someone's roster and go like yep that team is definitely better than this team i i'm just not about that there's just so much that goes into it that it doesn't make sense to me a la patriots when they went to super bowl 42 i'm not mistaken they had that unbeaten year but then they lost to the wild card giants And then they went to the Super Bowl again. Obviously, they weren't unbeaten, but they lost to the Giants again. You're going to tell me that the Patriots didn't have the better team? I think that... I really think that the Giants really put a lot of effort. And that was the reason why they beat the Patriots. They did their homework. They got outcoached. The greatest coach of all time got outcoached. And he got beat by Eli Manning. (laughs) I am so happy that happened. Every time I think about Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, I just think about how they lost in that Super Bowl. And it makes me so happy. But you might be saying, well, Andrew, like, hey, impact players are important. Well, let me tell you this. Let me tell you why the Bills right now might have arguably the best team assembled in general in team history. And I don't think that's even like remotely close. And remember, like you might be going like, well, the 90s Bills, like they went to four Super Bowls. Well, Andrew, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I I didn't even know what I was watching. <laughs> I, I That might tell you a little bit my, about my age, but... This team, in this era of football, we there's definitely a different type of game. Football right now is played significantly different than how the Bills were playing when they went to those four Super Bowls, I think. With like the rules, how we've been more shifting towards like a passing league. There, there's just a lot that goes on. But let me give you some names here that should make you feel a lot better about why I... or should give you an idea of why i don't think there are any that there's a better team out there it's they say any given sunday right and i don't like saying that because it just feels like a cop out but it's the truth any given sunday and any given sunday these players can go out there and whoop the other team's ass von miller josh allen stefan diggs mitch morris deon dawkins Tredavious White, James Cook, Kyer Elam, Gabriel Davis, Ed Oliver, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, Connor McGovern, Gregory Rousseau, Taylor Rapp, Sam Barton, Tyler Bass, Spencer Brown, not even to mention the rookies. Like, there are so many playmakers on this team, and this roster is so deep. There's competition littered everywhere. 
And again, this all stems from the fact that there was a social media post out there that said there were five teams ahead of the Buffalo Bills. Who I remember on that list that I've read the Chiefs, Bengals, Ravens, and like two other teams. Like, okay. First of all, the Bills have beaten the Chiefs. They've proven that they've they've closed that gap. Now they got to go out and beat the Bengals, but I don't think that the Bengals are definitively 100% better than the Bills. You kidding me? Like, the, you heard the team talk, and all the players talk, like, we just ran out of gas. There was so much that was going on last year, and it all basically came to a head, and then it just fizzed out in that divisional round where we lost. And then the Ravens? You're going to tell me that the Ravens are definitively better than the Buffalo Bills? I know they got OBJ and Lamar Jackson, but like, come on. The Ravens? Now again, any given Sunday, any team can get got. But the Ravens? And that's no disrespect. I, I personally think that the cream of the crop of AFC, there's a bunch of teams. And the Bills are one of those teams. I don't think that the Bills are definitively, quote-unquote, better or worse. Just like I, I don't think the Ravens are worse or better than the Bengals. I really think it just comes down to the matchup, the game plan, the weather. Everything that goes into like how a team wins is more... There's more to it than just simply looking at who who are my players versus who are your players. There's just way more to football than that. I challenge you to think about that. Think about like the Rex Ryan year when, oh my God, when we had, I think it was the first year and he said, we're going to the playoffs, get ready. Think about that team and who was on defense. We had the cold front. He turned that team and that top three defense to shit. And you want to know why? Because he was a bad coach and couldn't game plan. (laughs) That's really it. Like the Bills definitely, if you really look back at that team, you would go like, how did the Bills not make the playoffs with this team? It's not the players. It's not just the players. There's so much that go into this. And I took exception to that. And... I feel like I was going more of a rant here, and this might be more of like, uh, hey, you know, Andrew, you were talking kind of bad about, you know, Eric Washington and like other AFC contenders. Well, that's that's not the point. I'm just trying to be realistic. There's just this team is so good. And who knows what what's going to happen this year? Von Miller says he's going to be back week run one week six at the absolute latest latest Brandon Bean has even said he could probably play week one if he wanted to what are we going to do then that that just means that the team is already ready to go out there and win some games and that excites me it really does and I hope that excites you 